speaking with animals who have passed on, animals in spirit is my specialty. A lot of my students get really, really afraid of talking to animals on the other side. And like I say, I'm a psychic medium for humans as well. To me, it's really no different because energy is energy is energy is energy. And I know one of my teachers for humans had said once, on the other side, there is no gender and there is no age. Well, I add, there is no species. Because when they get over there, it's still just energy. When you talk to an animal on the other side, or, or a human, they present themselves as they were in this life for the person that I'm reading for. So if, if you're asking me to you know, speak to a, a dog that has passed on, they're going to present themselves to me as they would so that you can recognize them. You know, they will, they will give me aspects of that life. But energetically, it's all the same. The process itself, I don't find that, that different. The difference that I find is just in the information that we get. So, you know, if I'm working on a behavioral problem, then I might be going and getting information like what is, you know, what is the basis of this problem? You know, why is it that you're so afraid? You know, what have you experienced in the past? So we're, we're working on that physical level. Whereas when I talk to animals in spirit, depending on how long they've been gone, I'll get much more philosophical answers. You know, I mean, if they've been gone just a few, few hours or a few days, then they haven't really been over there that long to really assess everything. But if they've been over there like three weeks, three months, three years, they have a better idea of what their purpose in life was. So some of the questions that I'll ask is, what was the purpose for you and your mom to be together, or you and your dad to be together? What did you learn from each other? A lot of people ask, will they be coming back to me in this life? And my, my answer for that is, you know, sometimes they can, they certainly can, but even if they do come back to you in this life, by the time they do, there's so much, you're so far past it, and they will be in a different body that it will be different for you anyway. It will still be that soul connection, but it's different anyway. I just want to, I have one little story that I wanted to add, well, too quick, of animals in spirit. There was one, one animal that I talked to who, was, who took care of her dad for 10 months while he had cancer, and that cat showed me her dad's soul leaving his body as he passed. And so that was the view of somebody, you know, an animal that was still in body but had that connection to spirit. There was another animal I talked to that was in spirit, and his mom was having a very, very difficult time. And what he showed me was really, oh my God, it, this was a beautiful message for his mom. He wanted to make the connection for her that he was around and that there really is no definition because even even when I talk to animals in spirit or people in spirit, it's always, it kind of feels like they're here, I'm here, it's kind of like separate. It, it didn't feel like that at all. He wanted his mom to know because when, when people or when animals pass, they're really right here. They're only like three feet away. They're just in a different dimension. We seem to think of them up in the heavens someplace, but that's not where they are. They're just in a different dimension right, right next to us. And this cat gave it to me in such a beautiful way. He showed me, he showed me his body and he showed me unzipping his body and just stepping out of his body as an ethereal mass and then standing next to his mom. And in doing this, he was really making the point of saying, look, we're right here, right now. I may not be, I may not be wearing these clothes anymore, but I'm right here. It doesn't mean that I've gone anywhere. I'm still spiritually right here. And this was, this was a great comfort to her. But those are the types of messages that you get from animals and spirit. As long as the people can take them, as long as that's what they're ready for, that's the kind of 
messages that I seem to get a lot with animals in spirit, whereas with animals in body, it's more things that are having to do with their, their lives, how to change their lives, how to make their lives better.